Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Nate here with Nate's Tech Update, and today Apple enabled the Find My iPhone application here in iCloud, so let me go ahead and demo it for you. So the overall layout looks very similar to the way it does in MobileMe. We have our devices here up in the upper left hand corner. We have the different map views, so currently I am in the regular map view. We can switch to satellite, as well as hybrid. Um, these buttons up here will allow you to zoom in as well as zoom out on the location of your device. If you happen to veer away from the location and you're kind of lost as to where you are on the map, this will center you back to where the location of your device actually is. Now, as far as the options of being able to find your device, the info button has pretty much stayed the same as the way it was on uh, MobileMe. So you still have the option to play a sound or send a message, remote lock, or remote wipe the device. The only changes that have really been made is the addition of finding your Mac. So any Mac that you have your iCloud account signed in on, you'll be able to find using this application. Now the options of finding your Mac are the same as they are with the iDevices, except the implementation is a bit different. So we can still play a sound or send a message, so let me demo that for you. And it'll play a message pretty loud, it'll turn the volume all the way up even if the volume is currently muted. So hopefully if someone's in the area they will hear your Mac. Remote wipe, this will uh, wipe everything on your hard drive and all your data and everything so they can't access any important information that you have on your computer if it were to be stolen. Now if you ever do recover that Mac, you can simply enter in a passcode that you will do um, in the initial remote wipe setup that will give you access back to your Mac. Remote lock works exactly like it does on the, any iDevice, so I'm going to demonstrate that here for you, so let me just enter in a passcode. Now unfortunately when I go ahead and confirm this it will restart my Mac so I'm going to have to go ahead and switch over to my digital camera to show you actually how this works. So before I click lock I'm just going to go ahead and pause the screen recording now. Okay so after remote locking my Mac it's brought me to this screen here in which it's asking me to enter my passcode. So let me go ahead and zoom in on this for you. So right here it's saying enter your system pin code to unlock this Mac. So let me go ahead and do that. And it looks like everything's been successful because it's going to go ahead now and actually restart my Mac once again. So after doing that, it should let me into my computer. So it looks like it has now brought me into the login screen here. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I really appreciate it. Please like it and subscribe. And as always, have a nice day.